messes up on me. I told you, call you, I'm just going to weed out all the bad apples, and that's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing on the graveyard ship. I'm not just sitting here getting old before my time. Okay, I'm not just sitting here getting old before I'm my moving time. my way up from oh, the ranks. And after I get done, I'm going to clean this place up. And then I'm going to move up into management. And if they don't want to move me up the way I deserve, I'm going to go off on my own, set myself up to compete with these bums. Because I know I can do a better job than them with my eyes closed. Well, good for you. Why are you always coming here ragging on me all the time? <laughs> You can dish it out, but you can't take it. I can take it, but there's a limit. There's a level. I've been busting my ass all year trying to get my shit together. All right. And you of all people, you should be encouraging me. I just had a little bad luck. Anybody can have a little bad luck. You yourself yourself pretty good back there. Yeah? It was no big deal. No, no, you kept your head. You took control of the situation. You did exactly what you were supposed to do, OK? You were great. Shut up. I'm serious. So, but. Is it really going to be like an inquiry? Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. But what do they usually do? do no, they, they just, you know, they, you've got to go down to the trial room. They ask you what happened. They ask me what happened. Um, they read your report. They read my report. And they say, okay, thanks. And that's it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, that guy is going to be fine. I mean, I personally wouldn't hit him quite that hard. But, but that's a judgment call, you know? Plus, the fact is, if I would hit him like that, he'd probably be dead right now. Yeah. You love him? Who? You know, your partner. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, if you are, I think you're in love with the wrong guy. I'm not in love with anybody, okay? He just made life a little easier for me in the department, okay? Now, I don't know if you were really with him the other night or not, and I don't want to know, okay? It's not my case, it's not my problem. I'm sure you heard what they did to that nurse, so I'm not gonna go into that. I'm talking about a 27-year-old, single mother, three children, and I just want to say that you were not with him last night. You're going to need to talk to somebody. I can't even get to begin to describe it. I don't care about no, you. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. You're giving me all these old I things. I just want to do my job. That's okay. You made your choice, okay? See what happens whenever you come to work tomorrow. Well, how do you think your friend Lieutenant Finelli is going to like it if I tell him what you've been doing every night in the middle of your shift? Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Now I know where I stand. See, before I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could do that right now. Only who do you think that he's going to believe, huh? You or me? And second of all, see what happens if you hear it. See what happens when I tell him in my report. <clears throat> uh, I, I didn't see him rush her. That's all I got to say. I didn't see him rush 